time to get some pussy. Yay! <laughs> Kiri was horny. Very horny. Instead of putting his hands down his pants and grabbing his fat dick in his hands, he decided to actually pursue or talk to a girl. <laughs> so, you know, just like this now, more or less pitch black, very cold, very dark. I couldn't go outside, right? It was quite late. Hmm, what could I do? Ah, dating apps. I heard dating apps is such a good thing. I heard you can read the girl of your dreams there. I've heard that these chads have been pulling like girls left, right and centre. A new girl every single day. Yes, yes, yes. This is the play, dating apps, okay. So, Kiri recently went on dating apps. Downloaded it, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge. Broaden our horizon and our options as much as we can, right? Kiri downloads Hinge. Opens the app and there he sees... Oh. He needs to put his photos on. So he may, puts his photos on. He does that and he just waits a little bit. I've heard big things about dating apps. I've heard that all guys can meet the girl of their dreams. So let's, let's just give it a chance. Let's see what happens. I'm a bit skeptical, but let's actually see. Downloads Tinder, photos go. Two hours later, he checks his phone and he had to, he had to just like zero likes. But I thought I was decent looking. I mean, my photos and editors, we can put like two now. The, the portrait of me here and the, the one of my abs. I mean, that, that's at least a 7 out of 10. Come on. For my age group, for 50% being fucking overweight or obese. Like, I look, I look good. I'm up there. I must be a good looking guy. Surely I should get results. Surely I've worked hard and I'm entitled to get results. It's going to work out for me, right? So we'll just give it a bit of time, you know, Kiri left his phone, went downstairs, did whatever. Two hours go by, he checks his phone and there he sees zero likes again. Is my is my Wi-Fi on? I mean, his Wi-Fi was on, his apps all working fine. There, there must be a, a problem, right? The, the, something's not working on Tinder today. I mean, me looking like this, I, I can't get zero likes. So he goes on Bumble and Hinge and Gives it a few hours and there he sees zero likes. It's not as if the average man gets no likes at all. It's not as if the chads, the top 1% get all the girls. It can't be that, right? What's going on? Kiri wondered and, and thought. He, he looks decent. He's got abs. He looks in shape. He's low body fat. He's doing well. Got a bit of bad man, a bit of swagger. He looks, he looks good. He looks good, but I'm getting no matches and you're getting no matches. Kiri had a think, did a bit of research and, you know, he accepted he wasn't going to get any <coughs> pussy today. He, he, he's given up. He was going to go and porn, but he doesn't want to do that. So, you know, he ended up having a wet dream later that day with a couple of his boxes all soaked with sperm. <laughs> Sad life, eh? <laughs> But he understood and had a think about it and then it clicked like that. It clicked. Oh, now it makes sense. He didn't realise that 75% of people on dating apps are men and only 25%. And then he didn't realise that men swipe right more or less 50% of the time. So one in two. Oh, big tits I like. Oh, ugly girl. Oh, fat ass I like. Etc. But he didn't realise that women only swipe right 5% of the time. That means out of 20 guys, she'll pick one that she thinks is even worthy of having a conversation with. Us. We're in the 19 out of 20. Uh, me. You looking like that. We're in the 19 out of 20. Or simply the 5 the 95 out of 100 that don't get picked. But how can it be? Oh, now it makes sense. In the Western world, their egos are so inflated. They believe the sixes or the fives, so if I'm a seven, they're probably like a six. They believe they're nines. They believe that they should be talking to the rappers, the footballers, the NFL stars. That's what they believe. 
because they've been brainwashed. The Western world that says, go princess, you get the world princess, you're fat princess, but that doesn't matter princess. You can get whatever you want princess, demand whatever you want in a man. Six foot, six inch dick, six figures, fucking accomplished, well rounded, did it, did it, all by 20 years old. Yeah, you go girl. What do we really ask for in a girl? Not, not to be a whole bit of feminine energy, to be beautiful, loyal, that's it really, right? I understand that women require a lot more and I understand the risk now in pregnancy and they have to they can only have one baby in a year where we can have numerous. I understand they have to be more selective. But don't you not feel like this is a bit too much? They're so demanding. They ask for so much. They want us to bring everything to the table. Just for them to enjoy their 20s and have a hot girl summer and be a hoe and not be traditional. They want a traditional man. But their idealized, their ideologies are involved within feminism. They want their cake and they want to eat it. What is that shit saying? It's <laughs> dating apps for the majority of us guys, especially in the Western world. Even if you are a seven or even an eight, can you believe that? An eight in the Western world, and I say the Western world because if you go to Brazil, Thailand, it's kind of easy pickings there. We really get valued and respected for being a man. Passport bros, 2024, let's go. <laughs> but in the Western world, their egos are very inflated and they expect the most from us. They expect us to be the finished article at such a young age when it's the most difficult it's ever been. We're the first generation ever to be worse than our parents financially, you know, a position in life, latest we're ever getting married ever. 50, 60, 70 years ago, it was around 22 years of age, men were getting married. Now it's about 30. This is the hardest it's ever been for us. And when we need pity and we need help or just a bit of a come on Kiri you got this keep going from women and from society you know what we get nothing we get laughed at we send messages to girls on dating apps and they screenshot it and take the piss out of us we message girls on Instagram being direct and honest and respectful and they screenshot it and send it to their girls group chat some of these western girls and I say some because it's not all but Quite a lot of them are disgusting in their morals, in their ethics, in how they present. In They lack empathy. They don't know how hard it is for us and what we go through. So, the best thing you can do with that sexual energy and just like Kiri, he wanted to, he wanted to clap some cheeks that night. He understood the bigger picture and the bigger picture is simply the following. If you level up and become a man of worthy, even in the Western world, then you will get girls in the Western world, but your value will be so much higher, especially when you go abroad. We're playing on veteran, you know, Call of Duty, we're playing on the hardest game mode. And when we go abroad, it's like recruit, it's easy. Because we really get valued and respected for as men over the world it's just in this western world the parts of us the uk canada maybe maybe a little bit of australia so many women they lack empathy and they don't care that 19 out of 20 of us get zero matches and only two percent of guys on dating apps and they don't care that i've tried so hard over the last few years and i still get minimal results on dating apps they don't care about the effort you're putting in they don't give a fuck. And why should they? So, they're not the enemy. They're not the enemy at all. The enemy is from within and society and saying, okay, I need to become the best. So when we become in our peak and we make it in our fir late 20s, early 30s and we become somebody, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really going to care when I want to pick this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl. And this girl. Oh, you, you can't do that. You can't be 30 dating 25 year olds. You can't do that. How disgusting a 28 year old dating a 22 year old. You, you should be married now, should I? Should I? 
Oh, because women need to get married before 30, not men. Because you don't need to have babies before fertility and all this. We're different. And you have your time now, no problem. You have your time now, and I sit here, just like others, and we grind away in the darkness, day in, day out. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. For a better future. And our time will come. So when my time comes, and I'm in Shania, I'm deep in Shania's guts, I'm in fucking Melissa's guts, I'm in Samantha's guts, I'm in all their guts. Just because I want to, and it's my time now. You can't really say anything, because you had your time in the sun. Our time in the sun is coming. <laughs> and we're not going to waste our time now, in the boys, on dating apps, swiping and looking at girls on the screen, thinking what if. We're going to live in the present, become someone, invest that sexual energy into something bigger. And actually live reality. Live the life we want. Having our time in the sun. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide all links will be down below if you also like one-on-one coaching sessions or like to learn from my school share classes all links down below